Welcome, everybody, to The Music Show. I'm Ray Brazelton, your host. And I'm Nick Rita, co-host. Today we have for you a Christian variety show, which includes artists, uh, local artists. Three different, three different acts, right? Yeah. One is a... Two solos and a trio. Yeah. One, one soloist is John Peters, mm -hmm. who uh, lives in the uh, Finger Lakes area, I believe. Right, that's what he said. And, uh, and uh, he does a kind of a country gospel or southern gospel. It's hard to define it, but uh, I, I know that he does remind me, some of the stuff he does, reminds me a little bit of uh, Hank Williams, mm -hmm. just his style. Right. And even the way he carries himself. He looks a lot like him, I think. I, I don't know Hank Williams. You don't know, so you wouldn't know. Ray, it's a little before <laughs> my time. <laughs> well, but I, but I hear tell. <laughs> but John, John Peters is, is, is his name, and uh, just a beautiful voice, country voice. <laughs> Uh, beautiful inspirational music. And then we have Rusty Layton, Rusty. who is actually from uh, Maston in New York. Rusty and, does originals. And he does right. originals. Right. And his songs are very, very uh, soul-searching, very, very personal. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he's got a very nice voice to compliment right. it, too. Uh, and he does play, uh, both of them do, but uh, Rusty plays quite a bit. It's mm -hmm. his ministry, full-time ministry. Uh, for I, I don't know if it's full-time, but he does it a lot. Mm -hmm. And he uh, plays different churches all over, uh, right. uh, not just the Rochester, I mean out of the Rochester. I, I'm not sure for sure where he goes, but right. he goes out of this region. And uh, Then For God's Glory. For God's Glory is a group. And uh, you want to explain that group? Well, it's a three-piece group. They mm -hmm. have uh, keyboards, two guitars, uh, a vocal. A lady does the vocal, and, her, uh, and also there's harmony in there. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. It's a, uh, again, a very, uh, the message is there. Yeah, I, I think the message is definitely there. They have their, their hearts are really into it. I mean, they, they, uh, they say they do it for God, and I believe that they do uh, for God's glory. That's the name of the, gr the group, anyhow. Mm -hmm. And I met them at a, a mission, an open-door mm -hmm. mission in Rochester. So uh, they were pouring their hearts <laughs> out there. What were you doing at the open-door mission? Right? Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another yeah. story. Okay. So you hang in, you might find out. Okay. Don't, don't touch that remote. Yeah, we got a great show for you. Right. See you later. Hi, I'm Rusty Layden, and I'm from Macedon, New York, and I'm glad to be here on the music show. This first song I wrote is called "You Are Not Alone." You are not alone. He is always with you. He is on. The Always in control too. He is in the storm. He will always rescue. Do not be afraid. He will always save you. You are not alone. Life gets overwhelming and hard to carry to. Just hold on to Jesus. He will carry you. You are not alone. He is always with you. He is on the throne. Always in control too He is in the storm He will always rescue Do not be afraid He will always save you You are not alone can't see clearly path in front of you put your trust in Jesus he'll show you what to do
when you're sad and lonely Whatever you go through Bring your heart to Jesus He will comfort you You are not alone He is always with you He is on the throne Always in control too He is in the storm He will always rescue Do not be afraid he will always save you, you are not alone. Ooh, you are not alone, He is always with you, He is on the throne, always in control too, He is in the storm, He will always rescue you. Do not be afraid, He will always save you, you are not alone. You are not alone Thank you. I'm Ray Brazelton, your host, and you're watching The Music Show. And I'd um, like to uh, introduce you to Rusty Layden. Uh, Rusty, uh, you're from Masson, I understand? Yes. Yeah. I want to thank you for what you've done and uh, looking forward to hearing a little bit more. I appreciate being here. I know, Rusty, you write uh, a lot of your own music. Most of it, yes. Yeah, you do a few other people's music, but, yes. uh, but you do write a lot. And I know that uh, uh, your music is very, very Christian base. It's all Christian music, and uh, it's very, very inspiring, uh, especially to my wife and I. We listen to you many mornings when <laughs> we get up in the morning. We put on your CD, uh, and uh, just uh, you know, wanted to make sure that uh, we knew what your CD was called. Your new CD. I, I haven't, haven't got a title for the new one coming out, but I have okay. two CDs out right now. Well, could I show them? Yes. <laughs> Let's show them real quick. I don't know if I can. This is the new one i guess the brand new one the second gonna, one is the new one the second one yeah is that the one right there amazing love oh wrong one that's the older one i got the older one <laughs> skip it we'll try it this way how's this there we go and this is the new one that's that's quite a picture very very um beautiful and that's called possess the land within me okay uh, this is a, br a brand new one that you put together. Yes, just yeah. recently. Yeah. And uh, how do you come up with these words and these beautiful uh, God gives scriptures? them to me. That's all I can say. It's he's yeah. he's. I spend time with God, and he uh, just gives me these songs, and I just write them down. You do play at different places, at different. I venues. play at churches and coffee houses mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know you're in the upstate New York area. You're in Masson, New York? Yeah, I live in Masson. Right. But I, I travel to different places. I've gone to Buffalo. I've gone to Syracuse, different areas. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get uh, some information from you uh, on your email. And maybe you can just put that up on the screen. And uh, we can have his uh, email and his website there. And anybody can call you at that. Uh, yes. Or, or get a hold Contact of you. Contact me, yeah. Yeah, right. Great. Well, uh, this is real quickly. This is the song that the, the one that. Suzanne and I listen to and love to listen to mo a lot of mornings. It's very inspiring. I don't know if you can get that on camera or not. But it's called Amazing Love. It's a beautiful song and a beautiful CD. So, Rusty, can you play us another song? Sure. Okay, here we go. 
This next song is another song I wrote called Peace of God Come. It's very special to me. Peace of God come, come all my fears. Take everyone, dry all my tears. I need you now, come now I pray. Reach in my heart, take it away. Peace of God come. You're all I need, you are the one Who gives me peace when I'm undone You heal the hurt and pain in me You help me when I feel angry Peace of God come Ooh. Peace of God come when there is none, when I'm alone, when I'm broken, I cry to you and you are there. I always know you hear my prayer. Peace of God come. Ooh. Oh, Prince of Peace, come fill my heart. Stay with me now, never depart. Please hold me close, don't let me go. Come now and let your spirit flow. Peace of God come. Ooh. Peace of God come when there is none. When I'm alone, when I'm broken. I cry to you, and you are there. I always know you hear my prayer. Peace of God come. Ooh. Peace of God come when there is none. When I'm alone, when I'm broken. I cry to you, and you are there. I always know you hear my prayer. Peace of God come. Ooh. Peace of God come. Ooh. Peace of God come. God come. Ooh. Peace of God come. Here's a song that Jeff and Sherry Easter sang, and I love the song so much I decided to learn it myself, and, and I get a lot of requests for it. One called Roses Will Bloom Again. I planted a little rose bush and tended it with care. Its buds begin to blossom, their sweet fragrance filled the air. But when winter came, it withered, the petals drooped and fell to the ground. My heart sank as it faded, but I'd forgotten to have made it. And he said, roses will bloom again, just wait and see. Don't mourn what might have been, only God knows how. Roses will bloom again. Rose was his only sweetheart, a loving wife of forty years. They cherished every dream they had and held the 
memories dear He never dreamed he'd bury love And go on to live alone When he laid his rose to rest He looked to heaven and tried his best To believe that roses will bloom again Just wait and Precious rose of Sharon Shattered dreams and cruel shame Stained the cross of Calvary So that men might be saved Satan cheered as he died While Mary and the others cried but God raised them up from their sleep He kept a promise only He could keep And He said, roses will bloom again Just wait and see Don't mourn what might have been Only God knows how they will well now here for the interview uh, we have John Peters and we want to thank you John for what you've done well you're welcome boy what a voice uh, I, John uh, you're from this area yes I well, originally I was from this area and uh, and in 1990 I went to Nashville to go to Belmont University and, wow. and uh, study the music business but I really love the music and the performance, yeah. but I. You got, uh, you got into the ministry though more uh, the Christian ministry. Yeah, music? I. What what happened was when I got there, I was trying to decide: well, do I go Christian country, yeah. or do I go class or country music? And mm -hmm. and I love country music, classic country music now, 1990, and uh, so I got there and and kind of leaned. I went both ways, but. Then I met this girl, and after I got over her, I met this other girl. <laughs> and then she broke up with me, and then her mother says, well, why don't we go to this church? There's, they're having a singing, and they call them singings in the South. And we started going to all these churches, and I met, I, I was blessed. It was like, I thought, wow, this is fun, and I love this. And you're still doing it off and on here now. I found out yeah. that there's there's a lot of people that uh, that love this music. And, and, and do, you, do you call it Southern Gospel, or uh, would it well, be Southern Well, I, I say Southern Gospel. Uh, I don't like to be pegged into a, a quartet group. I would join one if somebody's <laughs> out there that wants a singer, but... Uh, uh, Southern gospel is the, the the genre of music that you would either either that or you would be uh, country gospel, mm -hmm. which country is gospel. a little yeah. different. But yeah. well, uh, you you do have a flavor uh, to me. It seems a little bit like Hank Williams to me. I mean, well, has anybody you. ever I've told you that? Many before? people <laughs> tell me they like yeah. the country uh, style yeah. of. The music that I do, the Christian music, because yeah. I do, uh, yeah, I do uh, Hank Williams' yeah. uh, song "House of Gold." And, and you're willing to play uh, for places. Uh, I mean, other than uh, you, you do mainly though Christian venues, I assume. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. well, I've I do some classic country, mm -hmm. but I keep my music clean. Yeah. 
And there is a like a, a church that has bluegrass country, mm -hmm. and uh, they, and we we just uh, play a lot of bluegrass and country. But I also throw in a Christian yeah. song, and and not afraid to because it's a, a good church. Do you have um, an email or something if somebody wanted to get a hold of you that we could put on the screen and you could yes, maybe give uh, us that now? Yeah. Uh, well, it's J dot Freeman dot Peters at gmail dot com. Okay. Well, we thank you That's so much. That's my middle name. Your middle name. Okay. <laughs> Freeman. <laughs> well, we thank you very much, uh, and uh, I guess you got uh, some more to do, and uh, we we're gonna just sit back and listen to you. Thank you, John. Well, you're let's, welcome. Let's continue on. Right. Here's a song by the Gaithers called "He Touched Me." Shackled by heavy burden Beneath the load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me And now I'm no longer So something happened and now I know oh, he touched me and made me whole since I met this blessed Savior. Since I've cleansed and made me whole I will never cease to praise Him I'll shout it while eternity grows Oh, He touched me he touched me And oh, the joy that floods my soul Something happened And now I know oh, He touched me And made me whole Yeah he touched me and made me whole. Hi, uh, welcome down from Lake's Corner. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to take a, a, a song, a standard uh, a jazz tune, jazz standard, Autumn Leaves. Uh, you know, I think I may have done a uh, solo based on this song uh, so, uh, uh, some time back. Uh, and if I did, uh, maybe it would be an interesting idea to look back at it. Uh, but I have it here. At, see this little black thing right down here? That's my music stand. Uh, and I have a... Uh, uh, a fake sheet of that song on that, and that's what I'm going to be speaking from now. Um, when we have chord changes within a particular key, we can name them, and I've talked about this before, we can name them with numbers. For instance, the chord that's built on the first tone of the scale we call number one chord. Uh, the chord that's built on the number, second tone of the scale is called a number two, etc., etc. And uh, in the major scale, if we start uh, building a chord on the number one chord, it's uh, number one tone, it's going to be a major chord. On the number two, it's going to be a minor. Number three, it's going to be a minor. And if we extend those to sevenths, 
On the first tone, it's going to be a major seventh, second tone a minor seventh, third tone a minor seventh. The fourth tone would be another major seventh. The fifth tone would be a dominant seventh. The sixth tone would be another minor seven. And the seventh tone would yield a minor seven flat five chord. And we, I, I tell you these things because uh, when we analyze this song from a harmonic standpoint, those are some of the terms that I'm going to use. In Autumn Leaves, uh, the key signature for the Autumn Leaves has an F sharp in front of it. That means we're in the key of G, maybe. We could also be the key of E minor. And what we find in this particular song is we go from one key to another, which is typical of a lot of jazz tunes. They go from, uh, they change keys at will. But let's get started. Um, the first part of the melody, we go into an A minor chord is the first chord that we use. Now in the key of G, that would be a number two chord. Then we go to a D7 chord, which would be a number five chord. It's a dominant seventh built on the fifth tone of the scale. Then we go to a G major seven, which is a number one. There we have the very popular two, two, five, one. A minor to D seven to G major seven in the key of G, two, five, one. Now from there, we're going to do an interesting thing. We're going up to a number four chord which is a C major seven. So to reiterate those first four chords, A minor seven, D seven, G major seven, C major seven. So we went from G to C, up a, up a, a function of a fourth. Then we're gonna go up a function of a fourth again, which gives us to an F sharp. Now that's a number seven chord in the key of G. So we had A minor, two, five, one, two, four. Now this number seven chord, a minor seven flat five, is what I would call a dual purpose chord because it pivots, at, pivots at then to go to a B seven, and then that resolves to an E minor seven. So what did we just do there? We went from a two, which was the seven is in the original key, but now we make it into a two in the key of E minor, the number five being a B seven, and then the number one E minor. So we gravitated from the key of G into the key of E minor. I'll go through those one. C, F sharp minor seven, B seven, Pretty neat thing, I think. Now, if we do that again, it goes into the second ending. Second ending ends in the E minor seven again. And then we do a two to go into the chorus. We go a two, F sharp minor seven to a B seven to an E minor. The E minor. Now we're going to do something interesting because the E minor in order to pivot back to the key of G, we're going to go up a fourth to the A minor. So that E minor to E is a nice common change that we hear. But now, instead of it being a number four in the key of E minor, it's a number two in the key of G. And we're going back to G. Resolving back to the G. Then we do another F major, F sharp minor seven to a B seven. Now we're gonna do something really interesting because we're going to start on an E minor. We're going to go chromatically down to an E flat, then to a D minor, which is number two in the key of C. And then we're gonna to go to a D flat seven, but then we're going to resolve 
to a C major. That little thing took us from the key of E to the key of C. But now we're going to go down a half step again to B7. Then we're going to finally end in the key of E minor, or the E minor again. I think it's really handy to look at these uh, analysis when we're doing uh, improvisation because I would start out the first four measures impro um, uh, improvising using a G and then end up E minor and then that little thing uh, uh, when it was going from the E minor to the E flat I would use the key of C there because we're resolving to the key of C but then we're back into the E minor every once in a while we should take a couple of these songs and just analyze them in that fashion I think it would help you uh, visualize the song and see it a lot better so again, until uh, next time, if you have any questions, just uh, get in touch with us and give us an uh, uh, email, a uh, call, uh, snail mail anyway, and uh, uh, I, I would be happy to look at any question that you would have. So until next time, uh, just uh, keep plugging away. Well, I'm back to here on the music show. Of course, I'm Ray Brazelton, your host, and uh, today we had, is it God's Glory? For God's Glory. For God's Glory, the group For God's Glory we have with you now. And uh, I think we'll just have you introduce yourselves. Uh, why don't you start and maybe the area you're from. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Mike, and I'm from Henrietta. Did you relate it to that lady over there? <laughs> yes, my lovely wife over there, which I'm, I cherish. Does she live in Henrietta too? <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's Diane, right? It is Diane. Okay. And yeah, my name is Brent, and I'm from Churchville. Okay. So uh, we're from, uh, well, we know where they're from now, and it is the Rochester area, upstate New York, and uh, they have a fine Christian band that plays. Uh, I got to meet them actually, actually through my uh, daughter-in-law mentioned, Joy. Uh, uh, you guys, and uh, she wrote me and said, you got to listen to them. So we uh, got wrote to them, and uh, they came back to us and said, yes, we'd love for you to hear us. And I went to the Open Mission, it's called? Open Door open Mission. Door. I, I don't say these times, <laughs> nothing right today. The Open Door Mission in mm -hmm. Rochester, and uh, reviewed you, and and it was good, and I, I uh, finally got a hold of you after a while. And you do a lot of different places. You do. I know you do the Open Door Mission, and places like that, but you also play some church for some church services. You want to tell us a little bit about where, maybe, and what kind of church services? Sure. Yeah. We've played a lot of different locations. Um, we've played specials at church. We've actually played for a church dinner a while back. We've even done private picnics. We did a Jesus festival down in Olean at one point. Mm -hmm. So we play anytime, any place. We've done coffee houses, nursing homes. Uh, we just love the Lord, and we'll play anytime anyone wants us. Well, your music is, is what I call it unique, <laughs> because a lot of people might not. This music, to me, reminds me a little bit of back in my days in the 60s. And uh, I, am I right? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it, it really has that kind of a flavor. And uh, so it, it's different to a lot of you out there that may not be old enough to remember some of that music. And, and a lot of you that uh, are our age would remember a lot of that music. So uh, now... You also have a CD. I've been holding this because I wanted to tell you they have a CD called what's what's it called? It's really called what do you have to lose? <laughs> Give Jesus a try. Uh, it's a great CD. I've listened to it. In fact, we uh, picked a, a couple of songs from this to uh, play mm -hmm. today, and we uh, are looking forward to hearing it. You want to give us your uh, maybe your CD? I mean, your email or your website or anything? Can you? It'll be on the bottom of the screen. Uh, on TV, but do you want to give it to us? Can you tell it? Can you do it by heart? <laughs> of course, of course. Our um, email address is gamitter2 at rochester.rr.com, and gamitter is spelled very uniquely. It's G-M-I-T-T-E-R, the number two, at rochester.rr.com. 
Okay, and I think we probably have your phone number down there and everything, so that it'll be all on the screen right there in front of you. And uh, so I guess uh, we're looking forward to having you now play for us. Thank you for being with us today, and here we go. Take it away, guys. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Thank you for having us. Okay. Hi. The name of our group is For God's Glory, and we're very happy to be here. The song we're going to do is a song called What Do You Have to Lose? Give Jesus a Try. And it's actually also the name of our newest CD. We hope you enjoy it. waiting just for you. Why are you so worried? Why are you so worried? You give me 
Welcome to the Music Show. I'm Ray Brazelton, your host. And I'm Nick Rita, co-host. Glad you're with us. We had a great variety show, Christian variety show. Very uh, interesting show with people that have a lot involved with uh, Christian music and uh, Christian worship. And uh, we uh, wanted to make sure that everybody had a chance to do something. We have three, actually, performers, three uh, segments, three groups, and uh, I think we'll start. Uh, Want to introduce yourself first, uh, Rusty? My name is Rusty Layton. Okay, and you're from Maston, right? Maston, right. right. Yeah. And um, John, it's your turn. I'm John Peters. I'm in uh, Finger Lakes region, and I'm glad to be here. Glad to have you, John. Very yeah. glad to have you. And you want to introduce your yourself, uh, Diane, and and your. I mean, your band members behind you. <laughs> sure. Um, our band is called For God's Glory, and my name is Diane Gemitter. This is my husband on this side, Michael Gemitter, and Brent Mackey. And you've been playing together for quite a while. Yeah, we've been playing together for a few years now. Yeah, great. Well, John, I wanted to bring up um, that I actually met you at the First Baptist Church Yes. in uh, Newark. Uh, Steve Madison is the pastor there. Right. And, yeah. uh, but I was, believe it or not, I was referred by Carl Hutchison uh, from Fairport to you. And when he sees this TV show, I make sure he watches this TV show. I mention his name. Yeah. Uh, so he uh, knows that now. But uh, he uh, referred me to you and just said you were the greatest. I had to call you. I had to get a hold of you. And I didn't get around to calling you. And I just oh. ran into you as we were both asked to play for it was a... Um, uh, earthquake uh, relief uh, fun drive for the uh, Haitians uh, Haitian, when they yeah. had that terrible earthquake. Haitian. Yeah. And then you got up yeah. there and did your music, and everybody told me, I got to talk to this guy. And, <laughs> well, really, uh, you it's, can't it's imagine great. how many people enjoy your music over there. It's, uh, yeah. it's Seems what kind of music do you do? Well, it's, it's more, everybody tells me, you know, you play, you get that country flavor, and they, they love country art. Country gospel, southern gospel? Well, we, you know, we could be a label as either southern gospel, uh, they say that uh, I'll Fly Away is a, a country gospel tune and a Christian country song is a, a Christian lyrics with country music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you want to... <laughs> <laughs> and then there's bluegrass gospel. Yeah. And, and there, there's a lot of genres that, that cross just like a lot of uh, people, a lot of entertainers, they want to, they don't even want to be uh, slotted or labeled, yeah. they'd rather do Sounds their familiar. own <laughs> music. <laughs> He's always told You really me. never ever start out saying, I'm going to be this kind of an artist. You just let uh, let God take care of it, and that's, this is right. what I do. And it's uh, right. That's why sometimes it's really so hard to put a label on things. And, right. and actually sometimes, contrary to popular belief, counterproductive. Yeah. So yeah, You want to be original. Right. Well, we um, really enjoyed you today, uh, John. It was uh, so, this, I can see so many people uh, my age and older, especially. Uh, my age. <laughs> my <laughs> age. Any older than you that do this kind of music, that love this kind of music. And uh, it was just so inspiring. It just, oh, you just feel God's presence when you sing. And it was just uh, wonderful what you did, John. So thank you. Thank you very much. And we have your, uh, your, uh, contact number and all the stuff it's there you don't even have to say it it's right I, I would like to say that yes. uh, the first time I sang maybe 1989 mm -hmm. at the Brown Craft, Craft Baptist Church before I went to Nashville uh, I got up and and I thought I thought it was going to be like playing country music and I got mm -hmm. up and sang and I thought this this isn't much different and I got down and this woman said Wow, that blessed me, and I thought, Wow, this this has power. There's something here. <laughs> it really made a difference in that older lady's life. She when you have somebody call you from a town way out, call me and tell me to get a hold of this guy. <laughs> you know you got to be pretty good. So thank you, John, for joining us. And uh, this just thank this, God. Yeah, thank God. Amen. Yeah, very, very yeah. nice. And and Rusty, my good buddy, Rusty here. Rusty has been. Um, doing things for me for four or five years off and on and every time I get a chance I uh, I ask him 
sometimes he turns me down, but <laughs> this time he went way overboard and got off work to come and everything. So, and I really thank you, Rusty, for doing that. And uh, okay. this man is, uh, Rusty, you, you've got the most, uh, I'll tell you, you just melt, my wife and I. You just melt us. It's just, uh, it's what you, your voice has a lot to do with it, too. You just get that voice. There's something about it uh, that makes you feel comforted inside. But you write your songs, and you write them, and the, and the songs you did today you wrote. And, and those songs uh, have the most personal meaning between you and God. It's all I praise God for. It's all God, not me. Yeah. Yeah, the songs are from Him. <laughs> now, you, how long have you been singing Christian songs? I've been singing Christian songs for about 25 years. Five years. I sang about 15 years before that in the world, playing uh, country music. Mm -hmm. And then I got saved, and the Lord showed me I, he, I was to play my music for Him. Well, I know there's there's a lot more stories there, and sometime we'll have you again on the show to tell us some more about it. But, but uh, Rusty has uh, been uh, through some real trials, and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he has uh, brought the Lord uh, in song all the way, and uh, he has blessed so many people with his music. Um, I must say that um, he's got a CD uh, his one that we've known, that I, his older one is Amazing Love. I don't know if you can catch that or not, but this CD is the one that my wife and I listen to all the time. I just urge you, if you get a chance to get a hold of him, his contact information will be on the screen pretty quick here. And, uh, and you can uh, get a hold of him if you like the CD. It'll just bless your whole day. And um, if you want to contact him, he does. You do other kind of uh, oh, wait a minute, let's show you the other one. This is his new one, everybody. Want to take a look at that one, too. Isn't that beautiful? And that's how you feel when you listen to his music, just like that. And this year I'll be coming out with another one. Oh, great. The Lord just, just gave me a bunch of songs, new, new ones. Uh, we, we'll uh, look forward to that. If you'd like to get a hold of him <laughs> to get his CDs, um, his contact number uh, information is all there on the screen also. And uh, Rusty, thanks so much. I appreciate you I appreciate being, being on the show. You. Finally, I got you. <laughs> and, uh, and this has uh, been a great joy to have you. Talk about joy. That's my daughter-in-law. <laughs> She's the one that actually mentioned to us mm -hmm. about you, this group here. This is For God's Glory. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, they are a, I keep on saying a unique group. <laughs> they are. They, their music brings me back in time. But, it, but it's... Uh, it's God's time now, and yeah. the music you do is for God. And you want to tell us a little bit, like the things that you do, uh, your uh, the places you go, and uh, I know we probably covered this before, but you you've gone to Open Door Mission, you've done churches, church mm -hmm. services, picnics. You said, you know, give me a little information, just real. Yeah, quick. basically, we'll do any any time, any place. We do it for God's glory, and so we're willing to go anywhere. Um, as you mentioned, we've done Open Door Mission. There used to be a place called Refuge, which was done by Elam. That was a downtown um, uh, coffee house. So we've done coffee houses and nursing homes and church specials. We did a pig roast this past mm. summer. We did a Jesus festival in Olean mm. one summer. So again, anytime, any place, because we, we do it for God. We do it for His glory. And it's all about Him, not about us. Yeah. Well, I can see that uh, when I went to, I actually reviewed them at the Open Door Mission in Rochester. And uh, I, you were always in the back of my mind. I know it took a while this <laughs> to get together. We went through quite a few obstacle courses to get together. But you're always in the back of my mind. I said, these people are so beautiful to that they would go to Open Door Mission and do this for these people. And, and you said the last, was it, what did you say? Somebody told me the last time you went? Yes. Yeah. About somebody being saved? Or Four people were saved. From this last time you went? Mm -hmm. Last time we went, yes. Yep. You, you, from your, I mean, obviously it wasn't just from your music, but your music certainly uh, it was very inspiring to them. And uh, did you say you do a little, no, I Mike the, or I you, Brett, you do the, the, you the sermon for it. Mm -hmm. That's great. So on top of that, you do sermons? On, <laughs> boy, you get a real deal if you get that. Man. <laughs> so uh, if you, now they have a CD. Can I talk about your CD? Of course. Um, this is their CD. And I don't know if you can catch it. But 
the little white might be hard to see, but oh, you can see it. What? What's the name of it? I can't read backwards. What do you have to lose? lose? <laughs> okay, it's not backwards. <laughs> uh, okay, what do you have to lose? And uh, this one, this CD, I listened to, and um, at home, and uh, I, you know, I just kind of like praise the Lord, for, uh, back in time. I don't know. I just, it's just so, to me it seems like it's got a 60s flavor, but I guess everybody has their own feelings of what music yeah. has. We've been told that that's got a little bit for everybody. So it's got some um, bossa nova, it's got some easy listening, it's got some hard rock in it yeah. as well. A little so. Dave Clark Five. No, no, that wasn't, that was, that was something else, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, you're all over uh, the place and uh, you can get them for any engagements for your church or for your um, uh, uh, event. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I'm sure they'd be glad to, uh, to accommodate you. And, well, the nice uh, thing about our group is we're free. Yeah, <laughs> we do it for God's glory, and yeah. that's that's what we really want to put out there because God gave us His talent, and we want to give it back to God, Amen. and we want the people that hear our music to hear God in us. Yeah. So if Jesus through us, through them, and they get saved, okay, just it's all the glory of God. Amen. Well, I hear God and see God through all of you, and uh, mm -hmm. I prayed about this before I had you on. I'm praying for it for quite a while, and I, I'm very very happy and pleased and honored to have you with me. Uh, I guess um, I want to thank you, Rusty. Thank you so much for joining me, Rusty. You're welcome. That's so much to me, Diane. Guys, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Uncle Nick, thank you very much. It's oh, amazing, isn't it? We do this every week. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, thank you for joining our uh, special show, Christian Variety Show today. And uh, of course, join us every week. We'd love to have you, right, Nick? We'd love to have you with us, right? More, more, the more the merrier. More the merrier. Take, take care, everybody. See you next show. I want to meet in heaven some